Right, today we're going to talk about the uh, clutch and uh, the um, hydraulic cylinder, the master cylinder that uh, um, disconnects the transmission from the uh, from the engine. Um, I went with a an adjustable uh, push rod, and um, and I highly recommend it. It's a lot more expensive than a a, a non-adjustable, but uh, it does give you uh, the freedom to actually do the adjustment. Um, in the manual, um, it shows what the initial setting uh, should be, and quite honestly, it's easier to do this when the engine and gearboxes uh, are assembled together before it goes in the car. I did not do that. I highly recommend that you would do that. Um, the uh, start position for the rod setting is shown here that there wants to be a little bit of a, a, a gap between uh, the push rod center and um, the uh, the throw arm on the clutch bearing um, when the pin is not in. Obviously, you can't have it misaligned if the pin is in. Uh, and that gap wants to be uh, 1 16th. Um, and that's the start point. And I think that's a very, very, very good reference based on what I um, have experienced trying to get this clutch to uh, to work. I, I, I won't be shy and, um, uh, and and lie that it didn't uh, that it took a little bit of time to actually get this right. So a lot of jacking up of the car, um, adjusting the rod, um, trying it, and uh, back and forth with that. So this is a, a good setting. After um, so this is the master cylinder. Just to explain the system, this is the bleed nipple. This is the return spring that's talked about in the manual. This is the arm, and then this is the yoke um, that's coming out, of, which has the thrust bearing, which is coming out of the uh, actual gearbox. Uh, you can actually see the position of the thrust bearing um, through this hole here um, in the bottom of the casing. Um, and that also is quite useful because you get to see where the the thrust bearing is relative to the pressure plate. It's not the best of use, but you, you can actually see something. Um, you, once you've actually got it to this initial setting, as I said, that's a good start point. Then you adjust it until uh, you get the clutch uh, position that you want uh, and um, the, the car disengages drive from the transmission. And um, I, don't, I personally don't know of a shortcut to it. It's a lot of, uh, trial and error um, and uh, if you're using a floor jack rather than car ramps uh, that can be uh, quite tedious jacking up dropping it down jacking it up dropping it down um, uh, I kept checking to make sure I didn't have air in the system and um, uh, I was surprised to see how long it took me to bleed that completely uh, given how short that system actually is uh, the other biggest tip that I could give is make sure you have all of your clutch lines uh, joints tight as possible uh, before you install the engine. Uh, so um, that's also super critical. Uh, you don't want any leaks in the line. They're very difficult to get to once they're actually installed in the car and uh, once the engine's in the car. So do all of that prior on the body prior as much as you can at least prior to actually installing the engine and uh, you can't have it too tight almost right so I'll have a look underneath the car now and I'll show you the actual parts all right we're underneath the car now um, this is the master cylinder this is the adjustable push rod uh, this is the pivot point and the black is the yoke arm coming out of the actual transmission that has the thrust bearing on. Um, and so the clutch master cylinder, when you depress the pedal, pushes the yoke arm, um, pushes the uh, adjustable rod this way. Obviously, it pushes the yoke arm that way. That pushes the thrust bearing onto the clutch plate until the clutch plate relieves pressure against the flywheel. Um, and so you're look you're looking for disengagement obviously and that occurs at the very end of the stroke um, typically uh, when you're adjusting it's best to take this uh, return spring off and then obviously you have to refit it 
Uh, the other tip that I would give you is that there is a split pin and you can just see that there. I would not split that split pin um, until after you've done all of the settings. It's actually quite difficult to get out um, if you need to take the uh, um, this pivot uh, point uh, bush out or pin out, I should call that a pin, not a bush. Um, and then obviously you have to make sure that uh, you uh, secure the split pin once you're happy with the actual setting. Um, I'm able to jack up the car on one side and get underneath and do the adjustment um, and that's uh, fairly good. I'm quite happy with that, that situation uh, and then it's just a, a lot of back and forth. So I'm going to get in the car now and then do a couple of depress of the clutch and then you'll see how that mechanism actually uh, actually works.